what's up? So, had a major rainstorm last night. Had a little front come through. Temperature dropped down from being about 75, 80 degrees down to about 64 this morning. Um, had probably a couple inches of rain, some tornado warnings and stuff like that last night. Well, I'm gonna go try it this morning. Joey said that he's gonna stay home because he's sleepy because of the storm blah 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 not because he's working so i'm gonna go fishing this morning i think i'm gonna head up towards uh the goose island area i think i'm gonna launch over st charles bay boat boat launch over there and then work my way down south see if we can find anything i'm getting a late start it's 7 30 in the morning sunrise was at 7 30 so a little later start than I would like, but at least I'm still going to get out on the water. I don't know how the fishing is going to be with all the fresh water that was just dumped in. High tides at 8 o'clock this morning, I believe. So, we'll see what happens. Hold on to your shorts and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Joey couldn't make it this morning. Something about being up all night because of some storms. Blah -de blah -de blah blah blah. So I figured I'd come out and uh, see if we couldn't catch a couple fish this morning. We'll see what happens. Not making any promises. We'll uh, we'll try. We had a lot of rain last night, a lot of wind, and fishing a high slack tide right now. So, we'll see what uh, what we can pull off this morning. Tide's a lot higher than normal. Which may be great, or which may be bad, I don't know. Water's a little cooler this morning. I'm gonna try to top water by it first. See if we can't pull something out with this. Hopefully it would have been a little bit overcast this morning still. All the storms just right offshore. Maybe I can get a topwater bite. Wind's pretty calm. Fish on, fish on. Saw him working the bank over here. I think we got a nice little redfish going. There we go. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. I don't think he knows that he's hooked. There we go. There's a little redfish action for y'all this morning. Heck yeah. There's a little redfish action this morning. Stay out of the Mirage Drive. Stay out of my rudder, bro. It's all about to ask. It's all about to ask. There we go, dude. Yeah, buddy. Ha 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 ha. That's what it's about, son. Egret bait does it again. Egret bait right there, guys. Egret bait. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right in the corner of the mouth. Right in the corner of the mouth. I was just a straight retrieve back, too. Just a straight retrieve. He's probably about 18 inches or so. Not too shabby. Take a quick pick. Put him back. Thank you, Mr. Little Redfish. Thank you, sir. You ready to go? You ready to go, little buddy? Come on. Oh, there he goes. Came back alive. I think I see a couple more up in here. I think I see a couple more fish moving around up in here. That was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. It's kind of addicting. Threw it right up on the bank and just did a straight retrieve out on that bad boy. So far I found running this Hobie. I'm getting some pretty shallow water. But I really like running the regular fins. Instead of the turbo fins. Because that 3 or 4 inches of difference. In length on those, on those turbo fins. 
I'm able to get shallower. Joey's having to pull his Mirage Drive a lot. I can leave mine up, or leave mine in the water and not have to actually pull mine. The other thing is I uh, have the sailing rudder, the larger rudder, but I've also found that I swapped that out to the regular old rudder when I'm fishing out here in the shallow water because again, that three or four inches makes a big difference. Just little things. If I go offshore, if I'm going to go out and fish deep, deep water the entire time, I'd put the turbo fins on in a heartbeat. I'd put those on in a heartbeat, and I'd also put my. Oh, that was a strike. But anywho, just a couple of things that I've just observed and trying out over here on the Hobie. So far, I've been super, super happy. I'm trying to get all my gear together so I can start uh, going offshore this this spring and summer. We'll see. There we go. It's all right there, guys. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's not done yet. He ain't done yet. There we go. Get out of here away from these fishing spot. There we go. There we go, dude. Come on up, Mr. Redfish. Come on up, Mr. Redfish. There we go. There's a slot. There's a slot fish. Come on, dude. Quit pulling me around. Right in the corner of the mouth again. Woo! <laughs> Come here, my friend. Come here. Get your butt in the boat, son. Get your butt in the boat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Of course, phone blowing up. While I'm fighting the fish, of course it's my wife. Hey, what's up, baby? Really? That sucks. Uh, well, I'm just landing a fish. <laughs> so you're so you're gonna be on video. I love you too. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I'll call you back here in just a second, baby. I love you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Sometimes you just got to answer the phone, guys. Look at that, guys. Look at that red fish right there, guys. Look at that red fish. Egret bait. Egret bait does it again. Oh, yeah. Right at 22. Nice redfish, y'all. Thank you, Mr. Redfish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the fight. That was great. That was awesome. There we go. Way he goes. There we go, guys. That's what it's about. 
that's what it's about son right there that's what it's about too bad I'm not out here enjoying this with friends I was able to enjoy it with some family over the phone <laughs> that's what I'm talking about so let's uh make a couple posts let's let this Kind of calm down in here for a second. We fought that fish all over this little cove, and uh, we'll get back at it. We'll try it again. All right, y'all. Well, got some pictures uploaded to Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, hit us up. Yakin TV. I'm going to work my way back over here in this cove again, and kind of work my way back around the shoreline. See if I can't find another nice little ray fish up in here. This egret bait, guys, I'm telling you, this Mardi Gras color from day one is produced fish, and I have been stoked. These wedge tails, just the vibration that they put off. I've caught trout, I've caught redfish. I have not caught a flounder on them yet. I have not caught the flounder yet. Spencer's caught the only flounder for us. But also, don't go out and specifically target flounder. Right, well, I moved out here to the reef. They're showing all kinds of fish underneath me right here. I'm in seven and a half feet of water, and literally right over there, it's about a foot. This is a, our little honey hole that I've fished many a times, either by myself or with Joey. Seven feet. It's a heck of a drop off from four to seven feet right there. There we go. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. There we go, guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. What we got? What we got? We got redfish. We got trout. Fighting like a redfish. A nice trout. Nice freaking trout, guys. We're gonna go for a boat flip here. We're gonna go for a boat flip. Boat flip. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. There we go, guys. Egret bait. Does it again. Egret bait wedge tail. Boom. Shaka laka. That's how it's done, son. All right, guys. Let's see how big this guy is and get him back quick. Because we're floating away right now. Let's see how big this guy is. Oh yeah. He is going to be just over 17. Not too shabby. Away he goes. There we go. There we go. Fish on, y'all. I don't think he's a big one. He's probably a dinker. But there we go. Hit that shrimp. I hit the shrimp. Right there, y'all. Boom, shakalaka. That's how it's done. There we go. Full H2O Express shrimp did it again. There we go. This one's a little different. This is a little darker color. Let me swap out the pumpkin H and H. Let me swap this one out real quick. I rigged up a standard old popping cork, put on about a three foot leader onto that, and I put two quick connects. Put a quick connect right here. And then did a loop with a quick connect right here. And that way I can swap out my baits pretty darn quick based upon if I want to run shrimp, if I want to run the H2O Express, if I want to run anything that I want to suspend from the popping cork. Just like that, it's off. I'm going to put on one of these other shrimp. The Walmart brand, the uh, Tsunami brand. I don't think they're exclusive to Walmart, but 
That's where I bought them. And that's the only place I've seen them. I'm sure other places have purchased them before. But this is the only place I know of that had these at the time. Finished up a day of fishing. Two redfish, handful of trout. Two keepers out of the bunch. It's not too bad. Joey uh, texted me and called me a little bit later after he got on the water and said that uh, he wishes he was out there, but he's being a little drunk. Such is life. So, as always, hope you liked the video. You know it's me riding solo today. Like, subscribe, share, all that good shenanigans. Stay tuned to next week.